Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to install and configure Azure Active Directory Connect tool to sync on-premises Active Directory users with Azure Active Directory. Azure Active Directory Connect is a tool for connecting on-premises identity infrastructure to Microsoft Azure Active Directory. The wizard deploys and configures prerequisites and components required for the connection including sync and sign-on. This tool will synchronize our on-premises Active Directory with Azure Active Directory to create a hybrid environment. One of the advantages of this that our users can use single sign-on or for example, password reset in Microsoft 365. Installing Azure AD Connect on the domain controller is supported, but Microsoft doesn't recommend that. It's a best to install Azure Active Directory Connect tool on a separate domain join a Windows Server. Remember, Windows Server Core isn't supported, so we will need a Windows Server with full GUI. In this video, we will use the domain controller for the demonstration purpose. We are using a Windows Server 2022 VM created in VirtualBox. This is our domain controller named WS2K22-DC01 for msapsurat.local domain. As you can see, in Active Directory Users and Computer Snapping, already I have created one OU named Cloud Objects. I have stored some users under the Cloud Objects OU which you want to sync with our Azure Active Directory using Azure AD Connect tool. Before installing and configuring Azure Active Directory Connect tool, let me show you the existing users in our Azure Active Directory. Sign in to the Azure portal using an account with Global Administrator permissions. You can access Azure AD portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com Under Manage, click on Users. We can see the list of existing users in our Azure Active Directory. Currently, there are two users configured in Azure Active Directory, which are the Azure Tenant Administrators. Let me again click on Azure Active Directory. Here we can see our tenant basic information like this is the name MSF Surat. This is the primary domain name msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com and we have Azure Active Directory Premium P2 Trial License in our Azure Active Directory. As we can see, Azure AD Connect is not enabled in our Azure Active Directory tenant. Click on Go to Azure AD Connect link. You can also click on Azure AD Connect under Manage Sections to reach here. Click on Download Azure AD Connect link to download the latest version of Azure AD Setup. Let me click there, which will open a new tab. Now I'm going to copy this URL because uh, uh, I'm going to paste this URL in our virtual machine so we can download that setup there. So let's open Microsoft Edge web browser. Uh, one more thing which I forgot to mention. Uh, let me expand a uh, system requirements. Uh, see the supported OS are only Windows Server 2016 and 2019. It is also working fine on Windows Server 2022 as well. Let's go to a VM. Uh, let me uh, paste that uh, link which we have copied. Now we are going to download the Azure AD Connect setup in our virtual machine. Let me click on download link. Okay, download has been started successfully. Uh, the setup size is around 150 MB. As you can see, the size is 144 MB. Uh, this is a MSI package, uh, which we need to install on this uh, virtual machine. 
Okay. Uh, after downloading the Azure AD Connect, run the setup. Click on Open File to start the installation. Uh, I'm going to close the Microsoft Edge web browser here. Agree to the license terms and uh, click on Continue. When you synchronize your on-premises Active Directory with Azure Active Directory, you have to have a verified domain in Azure Active Directory. Only the UPNs that are associated with the on-premises Active Directory domain are synchronized. However, any UPN that contains a non-routable domain such as .local will be synchronized to an .onmicrosoft.com domain. In our case, we can see warning msfsurat.local is not routable domain. It is recommended to use custom settings to configure user sign-in options. I want to remind you that I don't have verified domain in my Azure Active Directory and we are using msfsurat.local domain which is non-routable domain for Microsoft Azure Active Directory. So now I'm going to click on customize for custom installation. Uh, it will give us all the options which we can decide for ourselves. On the install required component screen, we can customize settings affecting Azure Active Directory Connect. By selecting first option, you can specify custom installation location for Azure Active Directory Connect tool. By default, Azure Active Directory Connect is going to use SQL Express Addition to store information. But if you have a larger environments and also have high availability requirements, then choose second option, use an existing SQL server. For that, you must have SQL installed on one of your server. Here, we are not going to select any options as this is just a demo. Once you have completed your selection as per your requirement, click on install. Next, we will choose sign in options. We have got a variety of options available here and you need to select the right one for your organization. However, most organization pick password has synchronization. Uh, you can also enable single sign-on for your users, which we will see in upcoming videos. Uh, pick your desired method. Uh, we are going to use password has synchronization for this video. Let's click next. On the connect to Azure AD screen, we need to enter our Azure Active Directory account credential. Uh, let me go back to the Microsoft Edge web browser. Uh, let me close this page and uh, click on users. Uh, this is a user uh, who is global administrator. So I'm going to click on it. And uh, let's copy this user's UPN. Okay. Let's uh, paste here. Can we? Yeah. Uh, let's enter the password. Remember, this is our Azure global administrator's username and password. Click next. It is connecting to Microsoft Online to verify the username and password. We will then need to add a local Active Directory. On the Connect Your Directory screen, under Forest, select a directory and then click on Add. In our case, let's select msfsurat.local and click on Add Directory to add a local Active Directory. In a pop-up window, uh, we will be prompted to select either create a new account or use existing account. This account will be used for directory synchronization. At this point, we will use enterprise administrator's credential to add an active directory connection. Uh, let's enter a username which is MSF Surat slash administrator and let's enter his password. Click OK. This wizard will create a synchronization account with the required permissions. We can confirm that msfsurat.local is added. 
Click next to continue. We see the warning below because the UPN suffix msfsurat.local is not routable and therefore cannot be verified in the tenant. But we can proceed further by selecting continue without matching all UPN suffix to verified domains. Let me select this checkbox and then we have a next button. So any UPN that contains a non-routable domain such as msfsurat.local will be synchronized to an on microsoft.com domain name. Again, I want to remind you that I don't have verified domain in my Azure Active Directory tenant. Uh, let's click on next to continue. On the domain and OU filtering, uh, we can leave everything as default to sync the entire Active Directory data. We can also filter this data by only selecting the desired domain and OUs. In our example, we will only want to sync the cloud objects OU and sub OUs. Choose sync selected domains and OUs option. Clear the checkbox in front of msfsurat.local. Expand and select the OUs which you want to sync. I'll only select Cloud Objects OU. Let me expand it. Here we can see we have three more child OUs. Click Next. On this step, my recommendation is to leave the default settings for the basic setup. For more complicated setups, you may want other options where you will need to match your users using a particular attribute across all directories. Here, we will go with the default selection. Click on Next. From the Filter Users and Devices tab, we can sync all users and devices or we can specify a group. We will leave it to default to sync all users and devices. Click on Next. On the Optional Features tab, select any additional feature that you would like to activate. Each feature has an icon for more information on that specific feature. Since we don't have exchange in our forest, first two options are gray out. Uh, we can also enable password write back. After that, enable self-service password reset in your Azure Active Directory. Uh, you can do that steps uh, later if you want. And that's why at this moment, I'm just going to click on next. Make sure you have selected Start the synchronization process when configuration completes the checkbox and then click on install. Uh, this will take some time to install Microsoft Azure Active Directory Connect tool on our Windows Server 2022 domain controller. Azure AD Connect configuration completed and synchronization process has been started. Click on exit. After installing Azure AD Connect, sign in to the Azure Active Directory Admin Center. So let's move to our Microsoft Edge web browser. Here already we have signed into our Azure Active Directory Admin Center. One more thing which I forgot to mention is that the Azure Active Directory Connector account created by Azure Active Directory Connect Setup will sync Active Directory objects between on premises Active Directory and Azure Active Directory. After a few seconds, we can also see other users from our on premises Windows Server Active Directory in Azure Active Directory. So to see that, I'm going to click on Azure Active Directory. Uh, first thing uh, which you want to see here is under Azure AD Connect, now we can see it is enabled. Last sync was less than one hour ago. Uh, let me click on users. We can see the users from our cloud objects OU. Under on premise sync enabled column, we can see yes for our user test user one to test user five. You can see test user one, test user two, three, four, five. And on premise sync option is enabled. Uh, this is the connector account which I was talking about. Here we can see 
uh, display name is there so this is on premises directly synchronization service account and we can see the username is there now the important thing is that uh, you can confirm your domain controller name also here you can see sync underscore uh, domain controllers host name okay so this will synchronize active directory objects between on premises active directory and azure active directory uh, let's go to uh, windows server 2022 virtual machine uh, click on start menu click on synchronization service it already did start a synchronization the first time a full import is made a full synchronization and a export click on the msf surat dot on microsoft dot com with the profile name export under export statistics uh, click on add so here we have a total six uh, this is for number of objects uh, which have been sync with our azure active directory let me click on six you can see the distinguished name of our user objects uh, you can double click on each distinguished name to identify the user account or a user object let me double click on it here we can see this is for user 2 uh, here it is display name user 2 and dns domain name is there amsatsurat.local okay here we can see user's principal name which is user 2 at msfsurat.local this is the local user principal name but if you see the same thing in azure active directory admin center then the upn will be changed you can see user2 at msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com this is due to non routable domain name in our local active directory uh, let me close it here we have a one update as well and this is for a group named test users uh, let me show that group as well so under users ou i have total 5 users under workstations i have the computer account of the windows 10 computer uh, which is joined to our local active directory and then i have another ou for groups and under that i have one group named test users and if you see the members all 5 users test user 1 to test user 5 a member of this security group so at this moment everything looks great uh, we did successfully install and configure azure ad connect tool on this windows server 2022 domain controller so that concludes the video on how to install and configure azure ad connect to sync on premises active directory users to azure active directory thank you all for watching this video have a nice day